Get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. James Held at IFL TV in association with Matt King's Jim Arbaugh. I'm in Belfast at the Titanic Exhibition Centre today. With me, I've got the new Celtic Nations champion, Tyrone McKenna. What's up? Congratulations on your win, Ty. Biggie. Good win for you, this. Talk to me about the fight a little bit, mate. Um, I went there, it was relaxed. I knew it was uh, levels of both strong in boxing ways, so uh, I knew I was confident going in. But uh, it was a lot tougher than I thought. Uh, I was patient, I, I listened to Danny, he said not to, not to be reckless, not to try and go and blast my so I was patient. Mm -hmm. uh, waited for, for Sean to make mistakes, which he did and he kept on lunging in. I, I found the openings, the uppercuts, the right hooks. Um, and I started hurting him, I hurt him a few times in the fight. But he was tough enough and he came forward, kept on coming forward. So and I, I think it was the right decision that his, his corner actually ret made it, retired him. It seemed like Sean, his, his game plan was to get on the inside. The, yeah. the natural layout with you being so tall and him yeah. being so small, it meant that his, his game plan was dictated to him, yeah. really, yeah. trying to get on the inside and rough you up. Yeah. How do you think he dealt with that in maintaining the sort of distance? Yeah, I thought it dealt with perfect. Um, I could have done some some stuff that it was, I didn't do, do properly. Um, I should be moving more to the right. I was moving to the left a lot, but uh, other than that, I was, I was happy with the performance and I was happy with what way, what way I dealt with it. Uppercut was working, uppercut. working brutally for you in there. The uh, first round as well. I, I, know, I feared for Sean when you hit him with that uppercut the first time. Yeah. That was a shot and off. Well, he said I couldn't punch. I wanted to, to prove I could punch, and I think he felt it in it. And yeah. I don't. I think he'd retract, retract that statement now. Mm -hmm. But uh, the uppercut, yeah, it was working perfect for me. And uh, I love throwing uppercuts. It's my favourite punch. So, so he's the perfect kind of guy to, to use that with. Mm -hmm. What's the plan going forward from here for yourself? Um. Anyone. I want everyone and anyone. So anyone. if Junior's in now, would he, is he a potential opponent for you down the line? Everyone everyone with Lee Welterwood is a potential opponent. Uh, there's great fights out there. Chris Jang is a great fight for me. Uh, Phil Sutcliffe. There's Tyrone Nurse, the British champion at the minute. There's, uh, there's there's loads of fights out there at the minute that I could, could uh, would love to be involved in. But uh, it's up to my management. we we'll sit down with them as well. They have a plan for me already, so I'll see what's next for me. Do you want to be boxing in Ireland a lot more? Do you feel like you need I to be you feel Bel fighting in Belfast? Do you think you need to be back here? I love Belfast and Belfast loves me. <laughs> so I love boxing here as well. The crowd's brilliant. You heard the crowd today. The support's been unreal. So yeah, I'd love to get a bigger fan base here and, and I'll keep on fighting here, yeah. Performances like that, I'm sure you will. I mean, we saw a lot of animosity and not maybe not too deep between you and Sean Cree. A little bit of banter. You probably took it took it probably a little bit more serious than you needed to, I suppose. But I just, I just that's, hate, all that's I, dealt with now. All, all that's sort of, all right. It's all right. I'll go for a paint with him now. But uh, I just don't like the disrespect that people give. I mean, we're in a, we're in a tough game already. We don't need to be ringing disrespect into it. And uh, for him to come in, he's only been boxing four or five years, come in and give me disrespect. I wasn't happy with it, so uh, yeah, I don't think there's room in that in, in this game. There's a fine line between banter and disrespect. Banter and disrespect, and trying to sell and it was the fight as well. Start. It was funny at the start, and I was selling the fight, and it went well, the hip was brilliant. But then it started getting more. It started being. It started getting worse and worse and worse until more it got to, Yeah, until it got the, the disrespect, and that's when I, I wasn't happy with it. When can we anticipate seeing you out in action again? Will you fight before the end of the year or will it now be 2020? Uh, well, it was supposed to fit in the 10th of December, but I kind of hurt my hand, so I'll see what it's like. I'll, I'll hurt my hand or I'll cut one out, but uh, I'll see what it's like. Maybe, maybe just a day or two thing, but we'll see. Will you go straight back into camp? How long will you have before you're back in the gym? Three days of it again. <laughs> uh, three days a lot of time, so three days again, then back into camp. But, Hand, or it. Do you think it's important to keep that momentum going, especially with, with the training side of it? Uh, as you know, I've been speaking to you every week there because of it so much, so it's great to get out there. You get, you get your face out there so much, people are going to start recognizing you more, start following you more, so yeah, it's great to have that momentum and then 
hopefully soon we think with big big titles MGM obviously got a lot of shows all around yeah. the world we've seen Michael Conlon going out to New York exactly. as well for top rank do you have aspirations to sort of gate crash that and get, yeah. get on them cards it'd be unbelievable I've been out in America before I'm a star in my career so I'd love to go back and I love America I love I love the shows in America they're, they're different from the UK and the, the Irish shows so uh, yeah I'd love to be out there again you seem to strike up a good bond with trainer Danny Vaughan and the team. Uh, how, how helpful and influential, influential is that on fight night? When I went to Danny Vaughan, uh, I was a shell of myself. Uh, he's really built confidence in me. He's, he's worked on the game so much. Uh, he's developed me so much. I'm fitter, um, more knowledgeable. He's, he's changing my feet work, he's changing my, my defence. He's working on shots and, and everything that he teaches me, I'm just taking it on board and I can't wait to spend Another year, another two years, another three years. Just gathering information from him. I'd love to see you in the Tyrone now. So both freaks for the weight, yeah. massively tall. Both called Tyrone. Both, yeah, Only both room for Tyrone. one Tyrone. <laughs> it's it's Tyrone. Hopefully it can happen. Hopefully it can really happen. Yeah. I know Nurse will be looking, obviously not behind him. No disrespect, yeah. he's looking no, ahead. Of course. Of course he's not going to look at me. Down but, the line. but he's going to have to look at me soon when I'm, when I'm up there. That's right. Keep, keep putting on performances like that. I'm sure he will be taking notice. Yeah, exactly. So, well done on the win, mate. Thank you. And we Mustache will, movement. We will catch you real again real soon. Good stuff. See ya.